UFC 264 goes down this Saturday, and it's headlined by the much-awaited trilogy fight between Dustin Poirier and Conor McGregor, while the co-main event is a clash between top welterweight contenders Gilbert Burns and Stephen Thompson. UFC 264 also sees the return of fan favorite Sean O'Malley against Chris Martino, and you can watch it go down live by ordering UFC 264 pay-per-view, which will be exclusively available on ESPN+. Plus. So don't wait. Sign up for ESPN Plus by clicking the link in the description and order UFC 264 pay-per-view today. I'm always going to defer with the fighter uh, more often than not. I, I think that, you know, when you're talking about a fighter like Francis Ngannou, who has worked hard to get there and finally become champion, you know, these guys, they want to hold on to their belts as well. You know, I don't think it's unreasonable to, you know, wait another month uh, to fight for the belt. And I think the UFC has big plans for him. I think they get very excited. They want to book the big fights. Uh, and, and Francis kind of telling them no, I think genuinely upset them, obviously. And this is kind of a f you to Francis Ngannou, uh, to be candid, uh, of saying, okay, well, you don't want to fight, we'll book another one. And we can, you know, make another belt. And guess what? If you go any further, you know, there's other ways for us to penalize you. So it's tough. You know, I, I think these are kind of bully tactics that a lot of promoters will try to do. Um, it's unfortunate. I, I think that they will work itself out. I think, you know, ultimately the power does lie with the champion as he holds the belt. Um, but, um, you know, and again, I, I also have to say that I don't know what the inner workings are or what the uh, communications are between Francis and what was promised to the UFC and back and forth. So right. it, it's a tricky situation for, for both parties. Um, and uh, I think it will get resolved. But, you know, I, I, I don't I don't hate the gone, um, you know, Derek Lewis fight. Hey, this is Tyson Fury, a.k.a. the Gypsy King. I'm here at the UFC Performance Center in Las Vegas, checking it out. Uh, great facilities. I have uh, had the opportunity of going downstairs using the uh, ice bath and sauna and stuff. It was an absolutely fantastic experience. My prediction for the McGregor Porter fight is I think McGregor uh, will win this time. Um, I think he's been training hard and he's got it all to prove. I think it'll be a great event and one to watch. Tune in. I'll tell you, I, I don't. I think he realizes with Dustin at, at this point, the, the mind games is going to be a waste of time because Dustin, Dustin, it didn't work on him when he had. It it didn't. He already got when Dustin had to rematch him, and nobody was really giving Dustin a chance because he got he got just smoked by him the first time. He, I mean, look how he look. He got he got touched with him. He kept with that game plan. He did not. You know, he did not um, get off his game plan at all. He was standing up with him. He never showed a sign of insecurity about standing up with him. And then when it was time to go for that takedown, the first shot he did, he he executed. When he got back up, no sweat. He can go all night. He looked phenomenal in that fight. So for this fight, he knows he can end him. It was not a no. It's no longer a question. Man, I don't know. On my best day, could I beat him? He beat me, dude. Yes, you know you can now. He knew he can before he. He showed the world that he could. So his confidence is all high. And know what I really like? This is, I mean, uh, as far as um, with whatever trash talk there's been so far, is that uh, Connor was saying, hey, man, he was putting out there, the first one that shoots is a dusty bitch. Or so I think that was it. Or I'm maybe paraphrasing a little, but I'm pretty sure it was a dusty bitch, which I think is a great attack. I don't even know what exactly that is, but it's, <laughs> a dusty bitch, but it's, it's definitely degrading. And it's, and it's, and it's you know, <laughs> I like it, I, I like it. But when you hear, when you hear Dustin getting interviewed, I forgot the interview, but I, I see, I see the quote of it. And then I saw the clip of him talking and he was going, that just reeks of insecurity to me. He just said something on his first one that shoots a dusty. That's what he said. Yeah. Isn't he the one who's always preaching about the flow, the full martial arts, no holds barred, no rules, the, the ultimate fighting, like when he's talking about boxing and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. How about the first one to get taken down is a dusty? This is mixed martial arts. Um, put it all together. 
it's uh it reeks of insecurity to me that was like oh that's awesome because that's not even he's not going back at him like look this isn't boxing it's mixed mixed martial arts he's just being like he might have said that but he's just like you know what it just reeks of insecurity to me and that's like oh <laughs> you know what i mean so i don't know man i it's it's the it's just the opposite of what it was the first the last time they met where now everybody's like man can connor beat him before it was the other way so i'm just ranting what everybody knows yeah. but i'm just i'm super excited What else can they do, Habib, besides go home? Cry too. They can cry? If someone tired, they can cry. Fine, fine. Any cry babies here? No. Four, six, five, one, two, three, four, five. All the way down. Four, six, good job. Let you spar or not. So if you have an injury, let us know. We'll say, okay, you're good, you're not good, okay? It's extremely important. Uh, so again, not a good night's sleep. You got in a fight with your parents, your girlfriend. Doesn't matter. When You got a tough fight coming up. Is, is the data set September 25th, correct? With uh, Teixeira? No. Yeah, no. It's it, it's not this date. I'm still waiting for the date. Still waiting for the date, yeah. okay. I'm sure it's not 25, you know. Or, uh, it's going to be, I don't know when, but I think later. Oh, a little bit later. Have you started camp for this fight yet? Or, or are you just kind of... Not yet. Not yet. Uh, I'm in the gym every day. I train, but I don't train you know, really hard. Just, you know, to be in the, the, the shape. Uh, but like, <clears throat> when they, you know, send me a message with the date, then I will start, you know, everything, you know, uh, what to do, uh, when, you know, uh, invite the sparring partners and stuff like this. But it's too, for, right now it's too, too, too early for this, you know. Yeah, uh, of course. not make sense to try, you know, train very hard right now because in the day of the fight I will, I will be exhausted, you know. Yeah, So I need you. <laughs> You know uh, how it works, yeah. But the fight, the fight signed and everything. It's just the date is what's not not yeah, set. Yeah, fight is signed. We're just waiting for the date. Nothing changed. Glover will fight next opponent. And we're just waiting for the place and the date. You know, I have to be ready for for the best Glover ever. You know, because yeah. that could be his last. You know, his last fight for the title in his career. So he's gonna yeah. be. You know, he do everything to to take it. You know, and I have to be ready for everything. You know, but I think that he's gonna use his. You know, boxing. Uh, only for this to catch me and take me to the ground and finish fight on the ground. And this is what I have to be uh, worrying the most, you know. Uh, I'll, but also, I'm good. I've, I've got good jujitsu. I'm not afraid, you know, his jujitsu. If he take me down, maybe I will submit him. Never know. But it's not a you know secret that I will try to keep uh, fighting stand up, you know, and knock him out or stuff like this. Uh, but for sure, he will be this guy who who, who try to, you know put the fight on the ground. He got a lot of experience, you know, so yeah, uh, he know how to survive uh, hard punches and stuff like this, Definitely. you know, he he, he, he feel everything inside Octagon, so it's gonna be really, I think, tough fight, but I believe that I can knock him out.
Diaz has been out for five years. Five years is a significant amount of time, but I would like to see him back, though. He's got some fun fights, but I think, never mind uh, Masvidal fighting one of them. Masvidal needs to fight Leon Edwards. Simple as that. He's not mm -hmm. fighting for the belt next. And Leon, by all accounts, isn't going to fight for the belt, even if I think if he, even if he holds out for that long. As we know, Diaz kind of changed the narrative in that last punch or the last round, the last half of the round against the fight. And now everyone's saying, oh, if there was no time limit, so this was on the street, Diaz would have won that fight. That's not fair to say. You know, uh, Leon If this beating, was on the street, that girl could smoke weed and just run around the corner all day. If this was on the street, when, when Leon took him down, he would have tap danced on his fucking head. Yeah. Okay? You know what I mean? You can't say that. But still, the fight that Leon and Masvidal have not fought since, and we've had this conversation recently, so we won't dwell on it, but it's just crazy. Masvidal shouldn't be fighting anybody else right now other than Leon Edwards and Leon Edwards should be shouting it out from the rafters anytime mm -hmm. he gets a microphone anytime he speaks to a journalist should be Masvidal where you at and I know Masvidal he should probably say the same thing that guy loves to fight and he's not scared of any man let you spar or not so if you have an injury let us know we'll say okay you're good you're not good okay it's extremely important Head movement! Head movement! Head movement! Head movement! Head movement! Yes, move!